The Central Club. Do you have an electrical problem? Need your house rewiring? Then leave it to the pros. Our sponsors here at RME Electrical Services cover complete electrical installation, testing, maintenance and reactive services in all sectors across South Wales. Their services include commercial, industrial, domestic and renewables. If you've got a problem, get in touch now. Do you need a work uniform? Want to start a clothing brand? Or maybe you have a football kit that needs a logo printed? Well, if I was you, I'd get in touch with the Reinspire Printing Company down to Forest Industrial Estate for the finest printing and embroidery in Wales. I use them for my custom-made mankini, but you could use them for t-shirts, hats, hoodies, and many, many other things. What's going on, people? Welcome to the Central Club. This episode is brought to you by Reinspire Clothing and RME Electricals. Today is part two of our special guest. Uh, it's the first time we've ever done anything like this, but with the career this man's had, um, we just had to go in a bit more. So thank you for coming down a second time, Rob. Really appreciate it. Um, thank you, thank you. for having me. Amazing. I think on part when we went in a bit more about your childhood, um, how you even got into professional football. We even went in a bit about how COVID has affected you. Um, for the better, for better reasons or for, or for worse. Um, but mm, I think we'd like yeah. to just uh, jump straight in, really, from where we left off. Yeah. Um, and basically touching on on the career you had as a as a foot, as a professional footballer. Um, so we talk about you had your debut at Cardiff City. So at someone at like the age of 16, 17, playing for Cardiff City, you looked up kind of like a messiah, really. <laughs> I'll say people uh, name their dogs after you and their actually, cats. The people cats. actually really like that. <laughs> the messiah. Yeah, well, that's not. <laughs> <nice. laughs> Uh, it's not beat round the bush here. Like uh, people had the same haircut, people had cats and budgies and dogs yeah. named after you. What was the pressure like of coming from, like you said, playing for the youth and or playing for GE Aviation and then going straight in the deep end playing for the first team? Um one side you feel unbelievable, like just great just feel great like this is it like i'm a professional footballer <laughs> you know yeah yeah that's one side and then the other side is always that hey come on <laughs> the humility has to stay intact because you got work to do mm -hmm. this is only the beginning this is not it you haven't made it yet this is just the beginning you got you got some some history to make yeah, <laughs> you know nice. that's that was my mentality so at 17 18 listen even before that but really 17 18 i'm a professional footballer i'm playing for cardiff where i grew up you know i half an hour down the road and you're given that chance it was about okay where do you want to be that was the question that i asked myself where do i want to be i want to be at the very top i want to go at the very top but my mentality was always oh, i'm right here right now i want to play for the for cardiff city in the Premier League, scoring a million goals, as many as possible. And right now, right now, at this football club. Um, you actually wanted to take Cardiff to that? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It because wasn't like, skip this, someone find me in yeah. the Premiership already. You wanted to be promoted with Cardiff. Yeah, because the thing, and luckily in time, is the first couple of years was actually difficult because we got a couple of promotions, we got a couple of relegations, and I'm a young kid. But then... Um, Sam Hamam comes in, changes. But the the two years before that, it started to to change. The club started to change a little bit more money, a little bit um, more focused on who we signed, uh, because it was about trying to get promotion. So those things were happening. And I'm a young kid. Sam Hamam comes in, takes it to a different level. Yeah. And now he's like, well, let's try and take this team as high as possible. Mm. And I'm you know 18, 19, 20 at this time, and I'm I'm thinking great, okay, I can see the path. I can see us in the Premier League. I, I want to, because for me, it was about scoring goals at Cardiff because that's where I, I, that's where I am. Um, and my loyalty is that, is that way. Um, so that's where I am. And that's where, because, you know, five minutes ago, I was uh, up there sitting down. Now I'm on this pitch. Now what do I want to do? How do I want to impact? What mm. did I want to see? Mm. When I was sat up there, what did I want to see? How did, you know, how... Uh, what did I want to see on the football pitch? So now I want to do that. Um, and those visions or those ideas, uh, how I wanted to be as a footballer. And then day to day, you're working at that to try and be the that player, that what you see in your mind, because you've got 
a lot of things you have to work on and you have a lot of things that you have to do on the pitch and the pressure and the fans and the following and the... I was going to oh, say, this is... <laughs> how did you cope with the fame of being, uh, you know, in the limelight? Like Cullen was saying, people name their cats, their, an- <laughs> their, their pets after you. Like, how are you... <laughs> How did you still cope? to this day? Actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How people. did you like? How did you even cope with that? Um, it was, f- to be honest, I think from even from a young age, I, it's, my influences were some of the greatest people that's ever been in in different in different ways. Yeah, I mean, I'm into music. I like Michael Jackson. I like Prince. These are like Shout. almost mm. just out of this world people that w- w- had. Super. Yeah, just mm. um, people that did something extraordinary, but also at the same time, they're super famous for mm. that. So I'm watching that as I grow up, thinking, oh, that's exciting. So when I get into a position, and I never thought about it that way, then that, it was, you have to um, acknowledge it mm. because it is what it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> and people are that way. Um, but at the same time, I was like, this is exciting. So it was just about, uh, and the one thing I always promise myself is whatever happens, whatever it is, wherever you are and whatever you do, always take it in your stride. Mm. Even if you feel the pressure, even if it's tough, even if it's hard, take it in your stride. And take it that taking in your stride was was part of that. And people got crazy. I mean, Cardiff, it, it, was, it was unique because Cardiff was like a Premier League club day to day with the fans, the amount of people, the the following, the intensity. It's it's more the intensity because the intensity was, there was times where I actually couldn't walk down the street (laughs) because people were like, they grab you and picture this and that. I mean, we we had some times where we, you know, say we would be in in Cardiff and people would just be like, just literally grabbing me. And it it was unique and crazy because it was, that's the type of following because people loved you know yeah. what we were doing. Yeah. So course. at the same time, I was humble enough to enjoy it because mm-hmm. I was excited. That's nice. Because did you ever I, feel in, like there was danger there, or did you ever feel worried that something might happen to you? Yeah. Uh, very rarely. Yeah. You're always a couple of you swans. Know, you guys sending death threats. You, and stuff you've like. got to be smart in how you move day yeah. to day. Did you feel like um, you you could only because obviously you've got all this pressure on you, and you're kind of in the limelight. Do you feel like you you, you did, like didn't want to associate with some people, didn't want to do certain things because you you might be in the news or whatever? Yeah, like yeah. you felt that pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's something you have to really, especially when you're a young player, you have yeah. to really acknowledge very very quickly mm-hmm. and realize, and then figure out a way to uh, you know be strong Once, enough. Yeah. That because sometimes my friends would be like, hey, let's go do this and let's go Dream. do that, and I'm like. Yeah. I'm still friends. We, we oh, it's all good. But you're you go. Them. Like, I can't do that. Them, but yeah, yeah. In yeah, a way, yeah. you yeah, because yeah. you're in di- different. Yeah. yeah, and these yeah. are the. I guess these are the sacrifices because your friends are going to this party, and you know they're gonna you know go and do this or go and hang around with this people, mm. this that the other. And sometimes you have to be like, mm, nah, I can't do that. That looks bad know, on I'm, me. I'm in a situation where I can't do that. Sometimes you can go because you can. <clears> how you did know, that make you feel like, though? Did that make you feel like you missed out? So not at the time. No, now, I, now sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I missed out on some things. Yeah, yeah. I, but these are the disciplines that these mm-hmm. are the the That's, sacrifices. Yeah. You would never have had. You've never been able to do the things you've done since then, like yeah. going to all these other clubs. If you had and and, and just rise up the ranks if you wouldn't have maybe had those sacrifices. Exactly. And, yeah. and that was the thing about um, that is you have to almost disconnect because you're thinking about the bigger picture. And we talked about the, in the last episode is me thinking about, no, I want to be, be, I want to become one of the best. I want to be professional. I want to do things always in a good way, in a positive way. But I, I guess I've been lucky to have always had the, I guess the mindset of understanding <laughs> what's bad and what's good? Yeah, is this going to put you in a bad position? Is this not going to put you in a in good moment? Did you have position? any good mentors to show you that? Because obviously, when you're young, you don't really know what's right or what's wrong. You're just guessing. Was Sam Haman a big like? Was was he um, a big help to you? Because I remember you saying in conversation that he helped a lot when he came when he came to Cardiff. Yeah, City. no, he was, he was, and I think when you talk about like mentors, and I think I always uh, paid attention to the room. 
mm. in a way of um, when people tell the stories, somebody's doing a bad thing, somebody's doing a good thing. I'll always be, Read it. well, that's bad, that's good. Mm. You know, and, and I think these are the, the, the lessons that you learn along the way from a young kid. And, you, and I think people don't. <laughs> mm, yeah. I realize now, but at the time, I'm just, it's natural. It's like, well, that's, I don't think that's good. Mm. I think that's good. You're going off uh, instinct. And yeah, yeah. yeah and you, but you're learning at the same time. Mm. And that's how you do it. You, that's, how, that's how you learn. But also at the same time is the things that you're influenced by, the things that you want to be, you know? Uh, because I think in life, people generally know what's bad and what's good. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. like yeah. They, deep down yeah, to the course. core, to your soul, yeah. people know what's bad mm. and yeah, what's yeah. good. Now, the decision is whether you go towards that or whether you go towards that. Mm. That yeah, happens so can imagine so sometimes. True. It's like even more tempting. Because you exactly. get, yeah. Another thing I wanted so to ask. So temptation and all of these things, and sometimes you can't, and you mm. you you do this, and all of a sudden it escalates. Yeah. Um, it happens. Do you know it what? This this actual temptation leads us me on to this really important question, was you're 20 years old, 21, whatever, and you're getting paid good money, you know? Mm. Mm. What is it like? Is that tempting? Because I couldn't imagine being like 17, 18 Without, years old. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, back then, I know what I, I would probably What would you spend your money on? Like, yeah. Yeah. Would you like, clothes? I'm sure you had a Hummer at one point, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, as a young kid, mm. listen, when I first began, nothing. Nothing. Mm. Listen, I, I think I was probably on 45, I think it was 45 pound a week. Mm. When, when I was a young kid, yeah. um, when I first started. Youth, is, it, is this youth? The, the youth, yeah. So you're polishing boots. And then there's a little bit more, and there's a little bit more, blah, 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 whatever. But um, as you obviously, you start to make a name for yourself, a new contract, this, that, the other, then you start to have, uh, you know, okay, you can buy something nice and these yeah. things. I was always into things that were, I, I could enjoy, you know, and, you know, I, I got my first car. You know, I need to get about. I'm a young kid. Mm. I go, get my first car. I um, I was into clothes. I like clothes, so mm. um, spend money on clothes. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, as you get mm. older, then uh, you know, obviously, you have bigger cars and bigger engines and <laughs> this that. So I, you know, you spend on you know the things that in life that are luxuries, and um, you know, spend loads on those things. Do they bring happiness to you? That's the question I was literally going to ask. I'm so glad you asked that question. It brings some temporary happiness um, and joy. Yes. Hmm. But it's in the course of time, it's not the most sensible thing. Yeah. Mm. You, you can know? still cry in the Ferrari. Yeah. 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 Because, you know, <laughs> money, possessions, of course, they make you happy and bring you some joy. And it's, it's, short, it's shorter period because you get used to it. Yeah. And now you're just driving it, you yeah. know, sometimes, mm. you know, yeah. and you forget. It's you not the same buzz as when you first drove it. Yeah. And you forget the label on the front, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I get but that. Yeah. at the same time, that's great, f fun, brilliant. And you sometimes have to go through it to understand it. Now I understand it way more, way more in, in the situation where uh, do I need this luxury? Mm. No, I can say no. Sometimes you just go, oh, I want this, I'm going to have it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. oh, I wish I didn't <laughs> have it. Kids in a candy, candy shop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so sometimes they've done that, but you go through it to learn. And yeah. that's, yeah, the, that's yeah. the point. So I loads of things I, you know, bought and enjoyed and, um, you know, on holidays and this, that, the other. But fun uh, gives you joy. And um, sometimes, you know, I know, understand also at the same time that the, the lack yeah. of possessions mm. can make you unhappy. Mm. That happens yeah, too. Yeah, so, I see, yeah. It's, you got to look uh, at it from the other side. Yeah, Sometimes having nothing is more of a struggle, you know? Yeah, of, of course, it is a struggle. Yeah. And it, it does make you unhappy and it, is, yeah. it takes uh, effect on people. Of course, yeah, 100%. Mm. Um, it, it doesn't mean I don't recommend getting uh, <laughs> rich and yeah. get money and possessions and things yeah. like this. Yeah, but you, what, what I think what people forget, especially, and this is the last year or so, I've, I've kind of really, um, well, the last few years, but the last year gone even f deeper into it is you have to do it in um in a uh, strategic way you know you have to do it deliberately when you do those things you can have a ferrari but can you afford it you know you can have a nice house and or a, a nice some nice clothes or whatever it is 
but can you afford it really? Not borrowing, not we were, these things or whatever. We so talking. sometimes you've got to be really uh, deliberate and, and structured in, in how you do it because you've got to think about the bigger picture with stuff 100%. like that. That's the yeah. life, those are life decisions that you make and sometimes the temptation yeah. is for four minutes. We were just saying this <laughs> yeah. with, with Jamie yeah. outside, yeah. you know, the NBA players, they're making all this money and then as soon as they're, you know, their athletic career finishes, yeah. they still think they, they go can broke. afford you know? that lifestyle type of thing. Mm. Because you sometimes... Sometimes the things that you go, you elevated into this position, you go into this position, you have uh, certain things come your way, like money, possessions, these things, and they come into your world. And fame. <laughs> and sometimes you're not taught or you haven't spent the time to uh, think about it, learn about it, so you can make better decisions at mm. that time. You're yeah. too young and you, you're crazy and you, your feelings are all over the place. Yeah. I enjoy this and I enjoy that. Of course. And then you're going. So sometimes you, you've got to be able to... Uh, it's like a put, drug. Yeah, you put in the time and, and, learn, and learn how to do things better and structure things better, spend wisely because you've got to think about it's, you know, life is uh, quite a long time. Mm. What was the <laughs> most memorable moment, or you know, bad or good, what was the most memorable moment at Cardiff City? What do you, apart from obviously your first game um, mm. for when you started for the first team, what was your most memorable moment from that club? I think the so many because you know like you talk about the Messiah stuff and everything, <laughs> but because it was a, I, I think I spent overall from uh, seven years, I think um, six seven years of um, wonderful, great, fun times, and every day there's something. So I think it's hard to just you know pick a, a little a spot, moment, but yeah. listen, the things that jump out um, is the goals. The celebrations. Um, the, the Ayatollah? The, yeah. <laughs> the, the, Could you do the, the Ayatollah for us, please, on the camera? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you know where, do you know where that you. comes so, from? Yeah. It's oh, the it's, yeah, yeah. The story yeah, they beyond on, the Ayatollah. They, they, they went on tour, didn't they? And yeah. then there was a situation where they... Yeah. yeah it's, um, Leave our phone. Because I, <laughs> I, no, I, I heard you say, but I wasn't sure. And obviously, I thought you might know. Everyone knows Lou. Yeah, I did. I don't. I don't know why. I just... That's another time. But so the goals, um, the goals no, no, were like yeah, the, no, the, the biggest. Yeah, and the, the goals, the connection with the fans, the yeah. connection with the club. I think the, I think the way, I think where you, the connection still stands today. That's the beauty of it. Because when you, um, when you try to make an impact, you want it to last in people's memories and people's joy and, and they can go back to that moment in time and space yeah. and still enjoy it exactly the same. So those things stand out. I mean, you know, moments you say, the goal when I scored um, to break the record um, at Cardiff, the the amount of goals in a sing in a season, um, that was special. Things like that <laughs> jumped to mind. Yeah. Uh, the hat tricks, you know, my first hat trick at Bristol Rovers at home, FA Cup, I think. Uh, brilliant times. Those things jump out because they're special moments where you achieve something, and mm. you achieve something that you you wanting to really, really do, you mm. know, I, I wanted to break the record, you know, Amazing. and you know, there's a funny story that, so it gets to, I'm on 34 goals, right? And um, uh, I, need, I need one more goal um, to, to break the record. And um, it's, we play crew away and um, it's one of the last game, I think it's the last game of the season We've already made the playoffs. Lenny Lawrence is the manager. We've already made the playoffs, and Shout it's out Lenny. yeah, great guy. I still speak to him now. Nice. But um, Lenny's the manager, and uh, he decides to put me on the bench. In my mind, I'm thinking I'm on 34 goals. <laughs> <laughs> I need to break the record here, Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> killing the, me, man. We got big <laughs> things to do, <laughs> Lenny. <laughs> You're killing me, man. <laughs> Come on. And, and Lenny, Lenny's hilarious because he's brilliant. Such a funny guy. But at the same time, he's my manager, so I've got respect for him. And I'm like, okay, Lenny. Inside, I'm like, bring come on, on, Lenny. Just bring yeah. me on. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, comes <laughs> half time, and he knows because I've been warming up the whole time. <laughs> you know, yeah. he knows it's that. The first I, half, I, and he's on the first yeah. line, ready. Yeah. And he knows that I, 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 because Lenny was also smart, smart guy because he also knew I'm, you know, I'm one ready goal go. away. Yeah, I'm one goal away from breaking the record. So anyway, in the second half, half time, I come on and I'm like, I got 45 minutes to break the record for the club, the the historical record for the club in how many goals in a season. Uh, it's been already an unbelievable season, but this would just finish it off. So I come on uh, half time 
uh, going to the second half, and I'm just thinking about goals. Mm. Just goals. Doesn't matter what's <laughs> happening over the other end. <laughs> Give me the ball. Yeah, I'm yeah. shooting every time. <laughs> we're four uh, nil down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think we're one. I think we're we're one one nil down. I think, and um, we. Um, Anyway, I have a couple of half chances. Eventually, I get the uh, the last ten minutes. I get a chance. I'm through on goal. This is it. I already knew I I scored before I scored. It was just the feeling. You just mm. you're wow. the neo effect where you're yeah. an automatic. Yeah, <laughs> you know. You just got a feeling. That you, I know you're just an automatic, in. and and I go through, put it past the keeper, score. I broke on the record. Oh. The whole side. Uh, because a crew, the whole it wasn't like behind the goal. Yeah, the whole was side sideline. was Cardiff City. It was uh, almost like a home game, home, like the Bob Bank. Yeah, and that, that was special because to share that moment with every travelling fan and everybody knew that I was, you know, broke the record. Yeah, it was, yeah, that was things yeah. like that special. But you know, things like the promotion that we go on and get promoted that year the in, in the Millennium Stadium, right Ooh. here now the Principality, but in here. Yeah, you had and some big days. We're at home. Thing. You know, what is it, 65,000 or whatever it is? It, the, 72, I think, or 60, se- or 72. <laughs> I was uh, too In busy, <laughs> so too busy running, <laughs> <laughs> scoring goals. Listen, so you, you've had some great moments at Cardiff City. I yeah. think the saddest moment for myself, maybe a great achievement for you, I think it was 2004. You got you, uh, you get transferred to is it West Bromwich Albion? Yeah, mm. uh, but you know. You, you've made the premiership now. What, what, what was that like? Yeah, it was difficult. It's a difficult decision when you, you're you built up to create something right here in, you know, at home. in your Very close as well. Yeah. You know, and you wanted to stay. Division one. Said, you know? yeah. yeah. And we, we were getting promoted and we I were getting Stoke better. We were a... signing players and it, it was, we had a, we actually had a brilliant team. When you Top left, players. like the two, three years after, there was some mm. great players. You know, we had a great team yeah. as well, you know. Yeah. And then what happened was... Um, I think you don't know this at that time, at, you know, and at, what was happening was behind the scenes, the club was actually spending a lot of money. Sam Man was in charge, spending a lot of money. There was plans for stadium, this, that, and, you know, so a lot of players came in from top clubs and, and ones that had potential to go further. Quite a lot of us did and went to the to the very top. But um, we, you know, the, the contracts, the money, the money amount that spent to put that team together was a lot. Yeah. Uh, didn't know this at the time so much, but at the time, um, you know, I get called into the office. Um, yeah, we've accepted an offer to uh, to West Brom. Um, at the same time, I I think it was also Everton were were interested. Really? Yeah, David Moyes was oh. at Everton, and um, I think Everton were were uh, and a bunch of other clubs, but yeah, nothing there was quite firm. a few, weren't there? But the one that they said um, was West Brom. We've accepted an offer. Um, well, you and we it. want you to go to West Brom, and yeah, instantly you just feel. I uh, I felt a little bit, uh, just a little bit of sadness, mm. but it's hard because at the same time you're thinking, oh, the chance to go play mm. in the Premier League against the very best, it's yeah. the, the the best league in the world and the top league in the world, and against the very best players, that is actually the dream. Yeah. You know, two, four, uh, five, six years ago, I was kicking the ball against the garage door, hoping to do this. Yeah. And now I'm yeah. in this office with a little bit of sadness yeah. that I've been told this news, but then mad, obviously, yeah. And at the same time, how did you, you feel? Yeah, about the way they went behind your back. Is it like they went behind your back? No, no, they, or, no? Uh, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't really go behind. You my could back. see it was. It was. You just. Looming. You don't know the financial situation, yeah. but they needed to sell me. Of course. That was the. That was mm. the thing. They needed to sell me, and that's what happened. And they sold me to to West Brom at the time. I go to West Brom, and 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 that was the the you know how it kind of all played out. But they didn't go by behind my back. It was, it was great. But I also had. A, you know, the few weeks before, you, there was loads of talk. Every day there was talks of, oh, this club's interested, this club's interested. And eventually it was, you know, West Brom who came in. Um, and um, and it, it was fine because you get the feeling beforehand, even though then once you get the news, once it's like, we've accepted the offer, this, we'd like you to do this, blah, 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 all these things. And then you're like, oh, wow, okay, I've got to make a big life decision here. So, yeah, so that's what happened. And then I um, I get, you know take some time to think about it and um eventually the only thing i uh, the reason i said yes was i wanted to play in the premier league and mm. i wanted to achieve my dream that now that was the the final decision even though i didn't want to leave i didn't want to leave cardiff at the time what was it like actually moving from cardiff uh, to west brom then so did you move to birmingham 
Yeah, um, it, was, it was interesting. I think I was, what was that, 23 uh, at the time, I believe, 22, 23. Um, and it's, it was difficult because it's like you're, you're out there in the, in the world on your own. Make a life decision. You move here. Yeah, your family never moved with you this time, I'm no. assuming. Uh, I moved. I, I, you know, I had to figure out. It's not like now. Now they're a lot more taken care of. Of course. But at the time, you're, yes. you're, you're kind of left. Listen, some people help me, of, of course. But, I mean, it's way more. Uh, there's a lot more people specifically for those little areas now than it was. So you got to find your house. You've got to find where you live. Um, you've got to go training every day. You've got to play games. You, um, But it, it was also exciting. As soon as I made the decision, because for me, yeah, we, you can always kind of go back. But a lot of the time it was like, okay, I made a decision. I'm going to do this. I looked at the team. I look who, where I'm going. I'm going to play with Kanu, who, who just, oh. come from, <laughs> just come from Arsenal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, so people like that. So I He's was very like, tall, isn't he? You're very small. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's a mad mix, like. Yeah, but <laughs> unbelievable. Mad pairing, I should unbelievable. say. Unbelievable, yeah. So, the, you know, you, you get excited. Okay, that I'm going to play. First game, Liverpool in three days. <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> Liverpool my away, too. So it's Anfield. Anfield. Wow. So that was, uh, it was like, Wow. Okay. Um, it's exciting then, though. You know, once you decide, it's then exciting, and that was that was exciting because it, it, three days time you're playing. The Liverpool. season you moved was that was that Chelsea's year or was that Man U's year? The oh four oh five. That was Chelsea's year. Chelsea's yeah, year yeah, was it. Yeah. What was that like playing against you know mm, Chelsea yeah. champions? It was it was actually unbelievable because you go into the Premier League. This is the Premier League where you're playing Chelsea. Mourinho, the special one. Yeah, he's the actual in. special one at this you know, time. At he? this time, he's just come in as the special one. That's who we gonna. That's prime who's on Drogba, the side. Yeah, prime Lampard, prime Lampard, Terry. Drogba, Terry, yeah. Terry um, all all mm. the big guys. I think Crespo was there or yeah, Shevchenko. Uh, Shevchenko, uh, maybe Crespo. I think at the time, like, but Drogba's there. All all the the legends. Yeah, <laughs> Iron, Shevchenko. Iron, went, he was Iron Robin was there. Whoa. Yeah, Whoa. Iron Robin was Whoa. there. People forget that. Um, True. That's a torture. Was team. that a mad jump anyway. from the from the championship to the prem and all those is. people? I bet that but was a crazy. Of course jump. it is. Yeah, it's a crazy jump. With and the level of talent just. Yeah, it was just yeah. It, Some it strikers just... come unstuck, don't they? Like your Andy Carroll's was brilliant in like Division One for like Newcastle. When he went to Premiership, he kind of struggled. But I find when you went to the Premiership, you still held your own. You yeah. was bagging goals. <laughs> well, I think the the interesting thing about my move to West Brom was I already felt that speed and the you were the there. Level your level was because there. I was feeling it already every few weeks with the national team. I was already now established in the in uh, the Wales team, so. I was playing with Ryan Giggs and Craig Bellamy and Gary Speed and John Hartson and all of these guys I was playing with every few weeks. So I already felt the level. Yeah. And that was exciting. And that's also why I went because it was like, oh, I well, want to do this. Were they, amazing? <laughs> Were they amazing to play with? Yeah. Um, you're you're Bellamy, uh, Giggs. Yeah. Stuff. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. But back to your question. So uh, uh, Chelsea, Mourinho's on the sideline and all of these players you're playing against, top players. You go to Man U, Alex Ferguson is on the side and you're playing against... Uh, Don't forget Liverpool. Rafa Benitez. A young, young Cristiano comes, mm. is, oh, yeah, is yeah, in. Yeah. Um, you're playing against Ruud van Nistelrooy, Skulls, F Rio Ferdinand, <laughs> Giggs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> you know, so. all of these players. You go, John O'Shea oh. gives away a penalty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Yeah. Um, you go... We, I, I remember we played Arsenal. It's the Invincibles. The Invincibles. Oh, yeah, oh, after, didn't it? Yeah. What it, was, it was crazy because you, you go... Arsene Wenger's Luka, on the side. Luca loves yeah, Arsenal. Arsenal as well. He's a big <laughs> Arsenal fan. It was unbelievable because <laughs> you, you talk, you're you playing against uh, Lauren, Freddie Jumberg, Patrick Vieira. It is. Um, you're playing against like all the all the legends that, that are Ashley Cole. Um, you then, uh, it's funny because it, I actually paused for a minute. We're playing a hybrid. Like I, I paused. I, I, I just looked at the team. I, I yeah. smiled because I, I, I had a little laugh to myself on my own. I had a little <laughs> laugh because the, the, the final two, uh, Dennis Burkamp, number 10, and Henri, number 14. Wow. <laughs> well, the, that's the two strikers. So that's who you're playing special, up against. Man. You know, mm. even, but not just that. The, the, I think the crazy thing about that time was unique because loads of other teams had great, great players. Great teams, yeah. yeah. You go to Bolton, JJ Okocha. Class. 
Nigeria. One of the best players yeah. that he needs to be talked about. Showboater, showboater. Yeah. Unbelievable. So you go into all these teams and you know, they've got top stars. Newcastle, so that yeah, was great. Everton, even Everton was really good at them days, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, Tim Cale's shout out, who's I'm doing a coaching course with right now. Are you now. doing it with him now? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's great, he's, he's there. But, you know, you've got what lots was, of other players. Uh, you played with Norwich in the Premiership as well, did you? What was your best team? No, no, no. Uh, I was with, uh, played with Derby and West Brom. Right, sorry. So what, Norwich was actually in the Championship. Well, Derby was Premiership, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So was, was your best memories uh, uh, in the Premiership with West Brom, would you say? Or Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, because it was the year where it was the great escape. No, no team's ever... Uh, being uh, bottom of the league at Christmas time and then end up Can staying you, in the Premier League. So, could you, that, like, uh, sorry, could you talk about that story as well? About uh, like I read an article, like you was um, the day uh, you scored a hat trick. I think was it. Mm. You scored a hat trick that day, and you was on the bench and you was thinking about leaving the club that day. Was it? Like, could you talk us through that? Yeah, because it was it was a t it was a tough season because the the manager who signed me um, was Gary Megson, um, and um, he got sacked midway. Uh, Brian Robson comes comes in. Uh, and yeah, it was fine. We played games in and out, and he, there's always mix in the team. I didn't like that. I was like, I need some rhythm. I'm a striker. Mm. I'm used to, you know, I'm planning to score 20 goals in the Premier League. <laughs> you yeah. know, that's that's my plan. For me to do that, and some games, I, yeah, I might not score, but then it's not like, okay, put me on the bench. But so those things were were happening. But, it, you know, as a team, we, we, we were excellent, but good, good guys. Um, but Anyway, we get later on in the season and we play Charlton away and um, we are in the business end where you, you know, we're looking at, okay, we're going to get relegated or we're staying in the Premier League. Mm. And sometimes your trophies are the Premier League, like I think Chelsea won the Premier League, Man U, all the, sometimes the, staying up. sometimes the trophy is staring, staying in at the top, top level. And that was us who's staying in the, in the league. So we go to Charlton um, and, you know, the... We, you know, we're in the in the dressing room, and the the manager um, names the team. I'm on the bench, and I'm thinking this is a game we have to win. Everybody's thinking that because we had to win yeah, that. Charlton, we in it. Charlton, we're in and around us too. So we go to Charlton, and I'm I'm on the bench, completely disappointed. There's a couple others are also on the bench, not just me, but there's a you know there's um, a, a, another mix to you know yeah. change the team around and we're like what's going on like let's just mess. let's just play our best team and win <laughs> yeah. that's what I was thinking that's what, like, come on it's come very on. simple the same time for like you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. experiment, yeah. experiment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like <laughs> you've got yeah. the goal scorer here best defender whatever it is you know and I'm on the bench and I'm like oh this is tough so instantly that was but that led up to a point where I was just a few other things and in the end I was just at that moment as soon as the team was uh, named I'm on the bench then it was just like okay I um I think I need to leave are you uh, able to go into those other things as well? Like, you were able to discuss what those things were, or are they a bit more private? Yeah, we keep some things private. <laughs> it's just with other people. Four, part other, three. Other people. Yeah. 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 Easy. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just, it, it's more, it's more, it's more of, uh, you know, you get, stuff, yeah, right? you get picked, you're not getting picked, day to day is a frustrating, whatever, all of these things that, as they happen yeah. in football, day to day, yeah, no, it takes a toll. relationships, yeah, oh, you know, yeah. manager speaking to you, he's not speaking to you, and you're like, why? Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. understand. You know, all of these things. Yeah. It leads up to, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not playing. So it was just more. It, there was me more of thinking. Okay, it's been a, a year, um, and um, okay, I, I need to think of a bigger picture. I, I want to score goals. I want to play all the time. Yeah. I want to play in a good team. Simple as that. So that's my, where my mentality was, and I was like, well, I think I need to, I need to leave. Yeah. Crazy enough, we lead up to a game. I'm professional. I'm going to play my heart out in an hour and a half. When we when we get going, we get going in an mm. hour and a half. It doesn't matter what I just thought about. So mm. we'll go an hour and a half later, game kicks off. I'm in my zone. Uh, I'm on the bench, but I'm in my zone because what I used to do, I used to sit on the bench and just look. I look at defenders. I look at spaces. I look at things, what's going on, because I know maybe I might get on. When I get on, That's interesting. I'm understanding the game uh, spaces you're not just where's, chewing chewing going like yeah just in, in the where's days. the spaces who's the defenders who where's the weaknesses where can i get the goal when i come on where can i get the goal i come on with 20 minutes to go ends up bang scored one bang two bang <laughs> three 
score a hat trick in like I think it was 18, 18 oh, 20 minutes, no, no. whatever. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy. Was that the first hat trick? <laughs> I, I was in the too busy. League as well. Well. Yeah, and it was what funny. What time to do it? Like. Yeah, <laughs> so everybody talks about the hat trick record that I have of scoring in every every competition. Um, that was actually when I did it. So at Charlton wow. away was when I when I did it. I actually didn't even know. I didn't know. Did, was, like, <laughs> uh, did, did like Brian Robson come to you after them? Like, did he say like, "Oh, can I, like, Did he say anything after the game? Like, or was he? No, not not much, not much. <laughs> I mean, well, listen, we're all celebrating as a team. Yeah. We've got a win. Uh, it, you don't care that extra, you. you know, another three points. Closer another to, season, <laughs> closer to, uh, another, to, to staying up. But then, no, there's a, still a few because you know, still a, you know, a few games left. Still a couple of months left. Right, okay. So as we go, you know, we gonna play. You know, teams, and we need to stay in the Premier League. So it was still about that business Staying end of up. that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's what we're doing. But that's what that's what happened. And then you know, obviously, as we go on, we end up staying in the Premier League that year. Uh, on the last game of the season, we beat Portsmouth two 0 The biggest game was the game before. We actually almost knew we were going to beat Portsmouth. The <laughs> test was going to Old Trafford, and you need minimum a point. To, uh, to, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, to... Go on, you can say it. Yeah. Because the other results, um, we need a point. Well, yeah, I, I got a goal at um, at Old Trafford. We were one nil down, but nice. it was more... It was more <laughs> how can he, how who, can he put you playing? on the bench, though? But how <laughs> oh, can he put you on yeah, the bench after scoring that goal against Man U and then put you on the bench against... It, it, that's un- unexplainable. Don't make yeah, sense. Yeah, don't make a lot Unexplainable. Of sense. That, that was obviously anyway. where more of the frustration personal came from. Yeah, it yeah. must have been yeah, personal. Because, you know, I, I didn't play at Charlton, but I'm playing at Old Trafford against yeah. Cristiano and Rio Ferdinand. <laughs> John these, O'Shea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we get a penalty. We we draw 1-1 one, one at Old Trafford. That was the most difficult game. <laughs> that year. I said John O'Shea about four times. So. <laughs> uh, you just rubbed it in. You just rubbed it in. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. If you're watching... <laughs> <laughs> nah. Do you know but what? It was, it was it was good. It was good. I mean, you know, you go to you know, I'm at West Brom, and yeah, you know, later on, I I go and <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry, you, <laughs> you rub it Take in a so hard. Don't John you? O'Shea, that's his humor. He just rubs it in so hard. He's just like John O'Shea. <laughs> no, but that's that's who, that's who give that John O'Shea give, give the penalty away. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make a song. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't start it. I didn't start it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry, guys. Sorry. Class. So obviously, listen. You've had some. There's so many clubs you've been to. Obviously, mm. you had a great career at Nottingham Forest as well. Uh, but there's, there's. It's not just in England you've been, is it? You've been to some um, uh, in other countries like America, uh, Canada, and even Israel. Mm. I remember you saying to us. Um, the first time we did an interview and you was talking about how you was caught up in a war. Like, um, can you mm. talk to us how like that experience was for you? And yeah, I have, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I listen, I'm, I'm always feel blessed and really, um, uh, appreciative of, uh, I've had a great career and the exact thing I wanted to do was play football, become a footballer, play at the very top. And I've been lucky enough to achieve that. Uh, and through that, you get offers. This so I get an offer in, I think it was 20, uh, 2012. I get an offer. Um, I had a, literally had a few hours to um, Jordi Cruyff, who is uh, Johan Cruyff's son. He's technical director at Maccabi nice. Tel Aviv. So he calls me up and says, hey, um, we'd like you to come to Maccabi Tel Aviv in Israel. We're trying to build a team. We brought a Spanish coach and we're trying to build something here and playing Champions League, all of these things. And he's explaining to me. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> just out of the blue where on a Sunday you, afternoon. Where was you at the time? I was at home. I was at home on a Sunday was afternoon. Was you at a club at the time? No, no, yeah, club? I was actually, this was when I was at, at Cardiff the second time. So I've gone to Nottingham Forest, had a great time, Norwich. Uh, Derby, all of these things, or whatever, come back to, to Cardiff. I'm at Cardiff. I wasn't playing so much, but at the same time, I was also thinking within the next period of time, I want to do something else. Yeah. Now I would, with my I would like to career. ask briefly, yeah. what was it? Do you regret going back to Cardiff the second time, or was it nice just to play at the new stadium? Or like, what was that? No, like? no, it was, it was great going back to the, to the new stadium. Nice. Because I played, you know, obviously the first period was at the old stadium, then they built the new stadium, two, coming two back. Yeah. Um, even though I played there for other teams, coming back to Cardiff, it was, it was nice. It was almost, you no, know, the, the best thing was about the first time, I never get, got to say that goodbye to the fans. So for me coming back was almost like, okay, 
guys, this is this is the only period I'm Never in my career. You. So it was almost like come back, say goodbye, enjoy ourselves, let's do something. So reunited so, like with the fans. Yeah, so it. it was that. That's and um, yeah, so I was at Cardiff. I get that call to Maccabi Tel Aviv. Um, and I literally had three, four hours to make a decision. I go to Maccabi Tel Aviv, not really doing the full homework because I was more excited about the project. The bigger thing <laughs> was... <laughs> there was a war going on. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no social media. There's no ways of yeah. like really going deep into like investigating what's oh, happening. Yeah, yeah. But crazy, obviously, yeah. Maccabi Tel Aviv is the biggest club in Israel. Um, and I go there and everything's great. Everything's great for weeks, m you know, a month or so. Great. One day, um, siren goes off. And I'm like, what's that? <laughs> no idea. Big siren go, going off. Didn't even off. know there was a siren. Like, no, but yeah. it, well, I read this. They didn't, didn't go off. They, that was the first time they went off since like 1998 or something like yeah. that. Yeah, first, so first time in 20 years that it's 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 gone off in Tel Aviv. Is that mm. a rocket incoming? Is it from But it's like, the yeah. Palestinian war yeah. versus Hamas. Israel. Yeah. yeah, so it was that. Um, and it it's going off properly. I'm in the middle of a training session. We're in the middle of a training session. Sirens going off. I'm like, what's that? What did they sound like? Was it machine. like the World War II? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Those ones. Exactly like that. That's exactly yeah. what it sounds like. <laughs> Very good. That's the scariest the sound <laughs> ever. It sounds so, like the wave machine in Pentagon yeah. Legends. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 <Fucking bad. laughs> exactly like that. Yeah, yeah. I'd be passionate. Yeah, what, what, what the heck? But, <laughs> but right now it's like is the Israeli boys, the, 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 the Jewish boys, they go to the side of the building because they're trained. You, you know, they've gone through... Um, uh, tra you know, their training before. So you go to the side of the building. So I'm like, what's what's happening? So you go to the side of the building, everybody starts to then explain it's the war, this, this. It means there's going to be, uh, there's missiles being missiles launched are. from uh, the, near Gaza West Bank. into, uh, into ta Tel Aviv. It's about an hour, hour, 20 minutes away. Uh, so the missiles are coming. So in Israel, they have the Iron Dome. Which yeah, I was going to say, they got the, the, the best technology, haven't they? The, the, the missile, one of the best technology. technology. What exactly. is it? An anti anti so ballistic called, missile. <laughs> it's called the, uh, so it's called the Iron Dome, and it's, it's the name for the Rockets interceptor. Coming. So it, it intercepts anything that is missiles, bombs, whatever it is, um, launched into, into Israel. So it's like a it. defensive system. So Shoots the missiles down. Exactly. So we're at training. Missiles gone off, you know, not too far away. They send another missile, blows it up. And so this started going on, and we're like, oh, wow, okay, I, this is. <laughs> Should I take my boots off? I didn't sign yeah, up for this. This is actually war. I, I didn't know what I was going on. I didn't sign up for this. You know what I mean? That was my yeah, fucking that was the, one of the things I, I instantly, I was like, Were you with your family? I, I came to play football. I didn't sign up for war. That's mad. <laughs> so that's what, but this is happening. <sighs> and um, no, I was, I was on my own at that time. Um, I got good friends with the, you know, because you're allowed five foreigners and uh, one of them was a very good friend still to this day uh, when we speak to each other. <laughs> Remember that <laughs> <You> day? <know? laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it was, wasn't yeah. one day, it was weeks. Mad. So it's going on all the time. So it got to the point where, you know, even Jordi, Jordi Cruyff is, um, called us, you know, into, into the office and he said, listen, th this is out of football. This is, uh, yeah. you know, outside of the, the you know, the, the football scenario here. If you want to go home, if you want to go back, obviously to you know the different countries that we are all from, you're you're open. If you want to stay, if you want to see, because there was negotiations going on yeah. with uh, within the governments and everything, so it was you know and the armies. So it's, Did you go it was then or? Uh, no. So I decided to stay, uh, <laughs> but it was it was like okay, there's maybe a stoppage to this in a few days, yeah. but it wasn't. It was still another few weeks. Wow. So yeah, so it was it was tough. Yeah, especially because at the time, near the, near the end, or close to the end, is yeah, my family came to visit and then they were there. So that was a bit scary because I was like, oh, okay, this, you know, because I was pretty much almost gonna leave, but everything slowed mm -hmm. down. It it stopped for a little while, and then luckily it it never escalated again. But it was uh, it was literally it, it was. Um, crazy because you know one day I'm, I'm on the training field but it's daytime light you could see everything clear skies and you see the missile from from um, you know from from Gaza the, the Palestinian missile come into Tel Aviv and I you see it I'm at, a middle middle of training 
middle of the training wow. se session, see it. I, and and then you see the Iron Dome, inter the interceptor what? blows it up in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. We, we, Not in his eyes. <laughs> but, you know. how, yeah. how how far away was <laughs> no, that? No, I mean, though? could you I see mean, it? Have been a beat? It's it's you know maybe as high as a plane is, you know maybe half the depth of a. And where, you just see it explode. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah. And you see it yeah. blow up. And watch them on YouTube. And yeah. Did you? Was apparently, the shrapnel dropped down about five minutes from the training ground onto, I think, a top of a car or something wow. like that. But it was just made it. It was just real, and it, it was. What's the culture like in Israel? Like, um, what was it like going there? Did, um, Listen, I always it's very mixed with Palestinians yeah. in Israel as well. And yeah. did, did I, I always, tensions? I always say, living in Israel, um, it was great. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I mean, the weather's beautiful. Yeah, the place super clean, beautiful. The food is unbelievable. Your day to day, your lifestyle, you know, your, um, you know, you go to training. It's nice. You know, facilities good. You know, so um, mm. you you leave training, you you're whatever you you're, you're into. I you got the beach there. We used to go to the beach all the time. We used to love it because I yeah, I mean I'm one of those. I love water, being mm. close to water. So I love that. You know, being able yeah, I was ten minutes away. So Look go go to the beach. Mm. Uh, no comment. <laughs> but <laughs> we know about you. <laughs> There's some pretty people over there. Yeah. <laughs> said, that, said that about Toronto. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought Toronto. So, I thought Toronto had the best girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's been on tour, old Robbie. Yeah. The beach was lovely. I don't know. <laughs> how nice you, food. How did you? How, <laughs> <laughs> what kind? <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, living in, living there was great. <laughs> Enjoyed it. What was living there was How did your career? Uh, no, your career. How did you stint end at um, at Tel Aviv then? Well, I was I was on loan. Okay. So at the end of the loan, I left. Um, came back. Actually, came back to Cardiff. Three months later, I'm in Toronto. I'm in Toronto because of a phone call another, again on a Sunday afternoon. I had literally three, four hours again to make a decision. And this time it wasn't like, okay, you go to Europe four hours away on a mad, flight. That's mad. International man of mystery, like just going <laughs> to different clubs. Like, oh, get off them. Yeah, my life is crazy. <laughs> the girls yeah. chase him out of the sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's nothing to do with a football club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've got enough here now. I've heard in every country. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I literally had four hours. Um, yeah, do you wanna do you wanna go to Toronto in Canada in uh, playing the MLS Major League Soccer? Um, always in the back of my mind, I I, I always thought, okay, that, that it would be a nice league to play in at some point. Yeah, I get mm. the opportunity, I get the call, but I've got three or four hours because it's like, oh, the, the deadline's coming up. We we got a game uh, next Saturday. Uh, in six days' time, but we would like you to come in because the process of signing takes a little bit. Or, um, so we would ideally like to know today. <laughs> wow. What was the like, fans wow. like in it? Like That's in mental. America, it yeah, so it's, it's crazy. So, What's it like in MLS? Um, like the, the, the fans, are they very passionate? Because American fans in any sport are pretty like soccer. wild. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, there's, there's always, there's always the, the, the real, f the, the fans that, you know, they follow the team, the, the loud ones yeah. say. There's always that. Hooligan. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. always those. Uh, I mean, it's just different. It's just yeah. different. Great, great fans. I mean, we we were having you know fifteen, twenty thousand all the time. Later on, we'll have you know over twenty five thousand. Yeah, I've seen different some of the, teams. Some of the clips, like but the the, the fan base, the fans the, the you know come to the stadium. Over twenty, over twenty thousand every stadium. I mean, some you're talking now Atlanta eighty thousand. It's so growing, it's, isn't it? It's oh, growing it's, massive. Yeah, but I I love being over there. You know, I go to Toronto. Love love the place. Love how the people are. Uh, but also they treated you well. Clubs great facilities. Day to day, that's what you're doing. You're looking at you know where you're going to train and and how. The, but the club is great, unbelievable. So I, I loved playing there. But it, it also gave me an opportunity to see different stadiums, play against top players, different... You know, you talk about Thierry Henry, I played mm. against him when he's over well, there. I was going to say... People like that. Go, like, so you know, going to MLS with him. Is where some great players go, Brilliant. don't they, towards was the end of their different? career. Yeah. Sorry. No, go one? on. I was just wondering, like, because he's just obviously one of the best players ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I was lucky yeah. to play against Sergio. him in the Premier League. And for me, he's the best Premier League player player that we've ever had yeah. i mean he's he's just on a different level uh what, but the ronaldo mm. yeah yeah of course yeah, yeah. because yeah. he was at a much higher panache. level you know you got a, yeah. you had a young ronaldo the last two seasons he was great but Henri was on a different level mm. at that time 
even when Ronaldo was great, Henri was, you know, but mm. at that time he's starting to move on to yeah. Barcelona, yeah. Barcelona and all of these. Mm. But like anyway, unbelievable. Yeah. For me, one of my inspirations, Thierry Henri, but when you get to play against one of your idols, one of your, the people that inspire you, especially, well, you I got to play against them. You have pressure, like you've got to score a goal, like you have to show him something, <laughs> don't you? I mean, you you just raise your level yeah. because it's great. It's great you're playing against some of the best, the very best mm. that's ever played the game. Ever. 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 So I was lucky enough to play, you know, when we're in Toronto, he comes and he was actually, he, he was brilliant because the the one thing I, I always respect people when they, when they, the human being um, also is, uh, I can respect. He seems like a top bloke. Uh, he comes <laughs> in, yeah, he comes in, uh, he's playing for New York Red Bulls at the time and we playing in Toronto and, you know, there was, uh, there was a, a camera crew actually um, for that uh, three or four days they were filming uh, me and, you know, my week, <laughs> but also we're playing, we just happened to be playing Thierry Henry and Red Bulls, but uh, they interviewed him and he was actually super complimentary, you know, because you don't, ex you, you, you half think, oh, yeah. he's not, he's not going to know, or, you know, or say too much mm. or whatever, but he was actually outwardly they very, very, They know their football uh, just as much as you do. Very they complimentary. Know about but players and clubs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was excellent, brilliant, but also I've got to bump into him a few times over the years, different things, coaching badges, but I also bumped into him in... Um, in Miami one time as well. On a rave or something, huh. was it? No, no, no. We we just gone for food <laughs> in a restaurant. <laughs> so brave. Yeah, just randomly. No, the way you said, I bumped into him. You know, it's like I bumped him in the strangest place. Yeah, but, but it, it, it is because because, because um, it was actually me and Ga Danny Gabadon. We're in we're in Miami at the end of the season. It's their mid season, and we we decide oh there's this place to go for dinner and this place to go for dinner so we're like oh we we oh we choose this we go and there you end up meeting power yeah we Smart, end up uh, we end up oh, oh that's Thierry Henry we <laughs> don't think too much Thierry Henry comes over to say hello really so that's why I respect that's, him yeah, way yeah, more so he yeah, comes yeah, over so it, it, you know sick, you, you just we're in it, it was crazy because like, we're in it? Miami. I just bumped into Thierry Henry and it's like What crazy. was he coming to say hello to Gabadon or you? <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah, to Gabs, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he, he was just, he was just, he, I, and I, I, you know, I bumped into him loads and spoke to him uh, loads and loads over, over the years now, in the last few years especially, and um, he's always amazing, amazing, Fair, very, right. very humble in the way yeah. he goes, but he's, he's just, uh, just super, super cool guy. But you know, it's it's those are the experiences that I went for. Also, I'm going to Toronto for these experiences. Great, of course, yeah. and I go to uh, Chicago. I'm in Chicago for a little bit of period of time. Another interesting spell. I go to Vancouver after that. In Canada, back again. So I uh, the and then side. after that, then I I go to uh, to California for two years. Now I start coaching and um, and yeah. So it's it's been. It's always an interesting ride, but along the way, there's always stories, interesting things, yeah. and oh, it could be another podcast on just the the stories well, outside. Listen, yeah, of course. <laughs> I do want to. I do want to go over um, but, uh, international. So mm. obviously, you know, you you uh, you know, from the whole time you was playing, you was mainly being picked for the international side as well. Uh, that that run we had in 2016, did, did, could you have made that 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 squad if it was a different manager in, or if you was at a different club, or? Yeah, um, I mean, it was a possibility because I was probably, what, 34 at, at that time. Was um, you disappointed that you didn't get picked? Not really, because two or three years before, I already decided, um, okay, I'm going to retire from international. So, yeah. yeah, so by that time, by 2016, I've actually retired. If probably I played more just before I retired... And the manager was like, oh, listen, you, you know, we, be... yeah, we want you involved for another few years, blah, 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 all of these things. Then, of course, I would have probably, I would have carried on because I wouldn't have said no to that. I, you know, mm. you don't say no to a manager saying, listen, we want you to stay and whatever. But also at the same time, I felt it was right. I mean, the other, you know, by this time I'm in Toronto and Chicago and Vancouver. Yeah, so it, the, it, there's a lot of, dis there's a lot of things I have to calculate just to get to a game. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so yeah. it's not as easy as people think, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so there's a lot of things that weighed up, but it was the right time. Listen, I, I can't complain. Ten years uh, playing for the national team, so um, it, yes, some it's great, special. Some great, some great so performances. Hat trick against Germany. Yeah, first game. Uh, was it first special. game? First, first game. That was my game. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. First game. Yeah, 2002. I, um, wow. 
Mark statement. Hughes names the team. I'm, I'm, uh, it looks as if I'm in the team. Then he pretty much confirms it. Um, and um, yeah, and then it's like, oh, wow, I'm going to make my debut tomorrow for the national team. Like, yeah, there's club level, but then there's international level and it's going to be special. And um, it's, you know, I'm playing Germany and, it, and this is the Germany, that, the top team top. that actually two months later go to the World Cup final, play Brazil, where R9, the Ronaldo, I call him yeah, the Ronaldo, yeah. because he's on different levels. Different. But is, anyway, uh, they go to the World Cup final, but it's, it was like that excitement of, um, oh, wow, it's another dream, another dream, mm -hmm. just you're going you're gonna, to uh, get to do tomorrow, and there's thousands there, family, uh, all of these things, You've and it's such a great special. Career. Do you know what? I've got a question for you. You've done so much. You've been to so many different clubs, international, so many different places. Um, what are the top few things that you've learned from all the things that you've achieved? Like, what would you say the top three things that, like, the lessons that you've learned, basically? Just along the journey? Yeah, 100%. Um, good, good question. I think what I've learned uh, is uh, people. Um, and the ability or the the time and getting to know people and cultures and languages and literally every continent, every continent on, on the planet, I've got to share dressing rooms, share planes, trains, share, you know, the training pitch or off the pitch too. You know, when we sat and we're having a coffee and there's four or five of us and it's from Peru and he's from Mexico and he's from Argentina and he's Japanese and he's from <laughs> yeah, yeah. Australia or whatever, you know. So th I think um, the different cultures, I've learned a lot and dealing with people and, and being able to um, enjoy. I love being able to interact and enjoy with people. And especially when sometimes you don't speak the same language and it's difficult, but you can still communicate. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the other things, also people, but the communication I've learned. Um, and I think also what I, what I think what I've learned along the journey is um, you have to be fulfilled in what you do. Success is about fulfillment, you know? And you work hard and you f figure out what your purpose is, what your passion, all of these things. But in life, you have to be fulfilled, not just uh, achieve things and do things. You have to be fulfilled. The journey has y to fulfill you. Yeah. Mm. And you get fulfilled by different things. And sometimes it's, you know, the things that you, you know, I'm, I'm in, you know, on my own in a hotel in Chicago, for in, for example, I go for a walk and I'm seeing things I've only seen on TV or whatever, and and it, it's nice. It's you know I love to I love music, I love traveling, I love interacting with people, you know, and and learning about different people. All of these things, I'm walking down the street and all of these things are, are happening. I'm I'm doing those things and music's going off and and you 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 know you you're fulfilled. But also you know what I wanted to do is. I wanted to fulfill inside me mm. the the dreams, the dreams were to go to the 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 highest level and 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 go and do those things and actually be there and make it try and make an impact. And then you fulfilled. You come off and you gave everything. You you uh, and also you know I, I think I think what you learn is it's very very hard. <laughs> mm. It's very very hard. Um, so you have to also. I've learned to really, really enjoy it, mm. you know, because sometimes people forget to enjoy. You have to enjoy it and, and take mm. a minute and pause and in, enjoy that process. The process I love. The process is bigger than the result. How did you feel after? So you've achieved things. How does it? Do you ever get to a point like where, not you, you don't get become depressed, but it's like you've done it. and It's like now what? Do you have you ever got to that or ever no. felt that? No, um, you get pauses in your life or pauses in your career, or whatever it is. Um, I'm, uh, I've always, I mean, years later, I find out this word. I'll tell you this word. Through the process, um, I've got a, a way of how I am. 
day to day. How I am day to day is I want to improve. I want to get better. I want to learn more. I want to learn as much as possible. I want to interact. And so the word uh, kaizen, kaizen, no, said Japanese is, on the yeah, first one. Yeah, a, yeah. So for those who don't know, Jap- uh, there's a Japanese philosophy called kaizen, and it's the philosophy of continuous improvement. So for me, when I say the process is bigger than the the result, I enjoy the process because constantly am I learning, am I growing, am I growing, am I growing in the what I'm doing? You know, I'm here doing a part. Am I growing? Am I working? You know, I'm doing media now. I'm I've been doing coaching. Am I growing and getting better at that? You know, day to day is okay. My health. I talked about like what I do day to day. Okay, am I you know. Am I taking care of my health, my passions? Am I getting better at those things? So I've never really had a, 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 a position where you end up being, oh, uh, what do I do now? Because I've always had interests. And I think that's what I've always had. I'm lucky that I have loads of interests. And that's why I say, don't put me in a box because I don't exist there. I'm the anomaly and I'm not the rule. Yeah. <laughs> because you put me in a box and it's like, oh, yeah, he's a footballer. No. I'm You're also than, a hat designer. I'm more than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got so many other yeah. interests that I that I do. Like I said, you have music, travel, this, yeah. that, the um, so many things that I'm interested in and want to get better at one you know, music. I picked up a guitar and piano before. I listen, I'm not I'm no good, <laughs> but I the try, I yeah. try. It's about the journey, not the destination. That's what exactly, say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um so those things are the things that are Listen, at the same time, you know, when you when you retire and you, uh, your dream is to be this and this is the 98% of what you pursue and then you do that and then you finish and you have to retire, that is hard, really, really hard. And I know other football players that find it really, really hard and, um, and you, I think everyone, we all have a period of time where we pause there's a there's a there's a pause in, um, and you you think and you're like oh this is tough mm, yeah <laughs> you now we're that, at, we're, yeah, you're at that place that's, that's hard yeah because you have to say goodbye to your dream but luckily I've uh, I've always had other you, things you say goodbye to your dream but what's next for Robert Earnshaw mm. then uh, so I I don't like the question because. <laughs> this is how, this is how yeah, get not, out. not in a it's an excellent question <laughs> this is how I work um, you you have things that you're going to do and sometimes you don't know that you're going to do them yet and I kind of leave it open for that um, I never knew that I was going to become a footballer and travel and travel in the world and do all of these things and meet great famous people blah 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 all of these things I didn't know I didn't know I was going to end up in a war <laughs> I didn't know I was going to end up in a beautiful country in Canada or whatever. And I'm in California. Well, I don't know. Either, but somewhere along the line, the universe meets you halfway. You have to have interest. I have loads of interest. I, I, and I, the reason I say I don't like the question is I, I leave it open. I have, I have lots of interest. And, in, you know, for example, the last year and a half, I've been uh, doing a coaching course, which is the highest uh, the pro license, UEFA pro license with the Welsh FA here. So I've been doing that the last year and a half. So um, I've got uh, a, you know, pursuit in, in coaching. Um, I've ended up doing uh, media work, TV, radio, um, you know, different uh, broadca- broadcasters um, with with media. I've loved that. So I've, I've interested. That's why I say don't put me in a box because, yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I just a coach? No. Am it's I just, just media? No. Mm. Um, um, have I got loads of interest that I can actually pursue? Kaizen, get better, improve, work and become great at that because there might be another career or something else that I'm working at as I go now because I always believe that you're always building for later on and sometimes you don't know where that later on is going to end up. You might do some things that you do now and then along the way something shifts and you end up into something where you're like, I didn't know I was going to end up here, yeah. but I am here. This is great. This is actually what I was supposed to do, mm. you know. Amazing, and yeah. sometimes that happens. So yeah. I leave it. I, I leave it open because it's based on what. It's based on. Am I interested in it? 
Um, am I passionate about it? And will it fulfill? Yeah, me? can I can I work with that? Can I can I work with that? It's and there's lots lots of things. It's, and it's nice because now I it's it's not just football. It's other things. Yeah, you know, a few weeks ago we we're in a music video and I got invited to do mm. a music Shout video. Shout out to Mace the Great. Yeah, Mace, Mace the Great. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, go check it out. Yeah. Great song yeah. as well. It's classic. For a Bad song, song. Um, my it's side nice, of the bridge. Nice, so nice to see, see you on something yeah, like that yeah, as well. Yeah, do you yeah. Know yeah. in the city, Show it, giving back like. Yeah, for me, yeah I, and I enjoy amazing. that. Good. I enjoy those things. I enjoy the things that I make. Keep that in mind for the future for my music video. I'm here doing a podcast. Yeah. You know, yeah. would you put me in this seat 10 Amazing. years ago? Amazing. We had no idea. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we had no ideas. But that's why I always leave it open. And um, uh, listen, I'm, I'm interested in things. And I, uh, I think every day I'm working a way to improve lots of areas that if I go and do this, I'm ready. That's, yeah. that's the, the number one thing. That's how I am every day. You know, so people say, oh, what, do you, what did you do today? Um, I was working on myself. Uh, <laughs> I, I love it, and and nice. I, I I do that every day in I'm some good at doing it. in some area, uh, and that doesn't mean I'm perfect. I'm listen, I'm nowhere near perfect. Loads of mistakes. That's why you work on yourself. <laughs> but you learn, you work on yourself. Mm. Um, or it's like, what did you do today? Oh, I've got a. Um, I'm covering the Euros this summer. You know, I've got to go to Maidstone, and we're doing this game, and I've got to learn the the Ukraine national team uh, names. Yeah. You know, so yeah. there's loads of things. That, but I want to do things. I want to do things like, because it's exciting, it's fun, and you work in media. Yes, a lot of it is, you know, it has been based around football. But that's why I enjoy lo lots of things. Yeah. That, sometimes it's nice like this, because you we're talking about things that you're, you're always interested in. Sometimes when I do interviews, media interviews, and it's like, oh, so you won the game. Yes. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to talk about, you know, the fan that I saw enjoying himself wow. with his beer or whatever. You that's know? Yeah, that's good to hear so, that it, so it's like sometimes you want to talk well, about interesting things yeah, that yeah. actually surround the game too. Yeah. So that's why this is nice. Do to, you remember the discuss. streak on the pitch on the Leeds United game in the FA Cup? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very well. He was very naked. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Matt, Nigel Matt. It was like, ah. In goals, <laughs> <laughs> that was class. <laughs> listen, so. you've had such such a great career, Robert. And like, I, I, I we could speak again. Like, listen, class. we'd love to get you on again. Yeah, <laughs> but legend, I would like to wrap up legend. these questions we got here. We've got quite a lot of questions. Little, uh, maybe some you can answer quickly. Straight okay. answers. Um, we'll start off with the questions then, right? So now I'm scared. No, nah, these <laughs> are fine. They're fine. They're fine. literally. <laughs> uh, fine, okay man. then, right? So when you played for Cardiff, who was the hardest man? Who was the hard man in the changing rooms? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Willie Boland was tough. <laughs> Willie Boland was the <laughs> ad man. In the he, no, he was Willie tough. He, he always reminded me of Roy Keane because he was absolutely ruthless every single day. And if you gave the ball away, he was on you. Really? If you went into a 50-50 challenge, he's kicking you. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> so, but you know, listen, there was tough ones. <laughs> Graham Kavanagh was, was tough in, in a way. Uh, Leo Fortune West was tough in Leo, other ways. Yeah. Shout out Leo. Peter Thorne's elbows were very, very tough. <laughs> <laughs> the defenders felt that. But yeah, there was Graham there was a Kavanagh few... reminded me. Remember the, the the film? Is it Small Soldiers? You know the um the, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the great crew cut. Better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All all good guys. What a film. Um, yeah. But we had we had a good one. Everybody was a very um, very strong in their areas. In their areas, I mean. yeah. yeah. Because their it was roles. competitive. Yeah. It was competitive. Different to Premier League, you know, Division 3, 2, 1. You know, it's more, um, what's the word? Just, but we yeah. were, no, b the, the biggest thing was we, we were lucky because everybody was pursuing something in their own. Right, yeah. I was wanting to go to the Premier League. Yeah, Danny yeah. Gabadon's trying to do this. Graham Kavanagh's trying to be the best captain. And, you know, so, you know, Andy Legg's, you know, they're trying to be the, 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 the best the defender. Longest. Yeah, so <laughs> no, it, it's like you've you got all of these yeah. players trying to <laughs> achieve something. Yeah. So then, you know, put those on training. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Andy trying to throw with the longest. <laughs> <laughs> the chemistry okay. must have been amazing, though. Yeah, it, like, they were special. Know? Chemistry Time was great. Watching yeah. them. Chemistry was great it was. because it was, it was, it was nonstop. There's a... Mm. Never a dull moment. <laughs> people laughing, and you know we had different managers: like Lenny Lawrence, Alan Cork, people like that. But all, all of them, Amazing. like brought some kind of chemistry yeah. uh, glue to to the team. Remember watching fun. like Brentford on like a Thursday night playing two touch with a can of coke, like and Bob Banks <laughs> half empty, and like just just mad nights. Like they, yeah, they were yeah. really special times. Like you know, yeah. growing up, good fun. 
Okay, yeah, and then uh, what was the most intimidating ground you played at? Uh, we played at the San Siro. Um, that was that the was the real San Siro. Yeah, yeah like AC Milan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inter Milan. Yeah, what was that we, in? We played. Um, so in the qualifiers, uh, I think it was two thousand. What was it? Two thousand and three, two thousand and two. Uh, against Italy, was it then? Yeah, against Italy, um, and. Um, we beat them at home 2-1 here. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I went to that but game. then we're going to play them away. We're going to play them away and it's at the San Siro. Yo, they got some they're, mad ultras, haven't they? We just beat them. They're mad. <laughs> so, but they're passionate. Yeah, they and are. Like, and it was, it, was, it was tough. It was hard because they were, they were, they were brilliant, but also, the, you know, the fans. Yeah, loud. the ultras, that's what they are, isn't it? The yeah. hooligans. They, but, so it was intimidating. No. <laughs> there was a few no. because it, it's also not like, oh, the, the biggest stadium. You played that Because game. it's like... Yeah, yeah. I, so did you play the? Cause I went. Who was it? Simon Davis scored, and was it Giggs against? Uh, was it um, the Italy when you beat him? Bellamy and uh, Bellamy, sorry, yeah, Bellamy, Bellamy and, Davis. And, and Simon Davis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so then you we went on to beat. Uh, was, oh, did you draw to Argentina a couple of weeks, like, couple, like round oh, that same time? That, that was just before. Yeah, was like, yeah. We thought yeah. you were invincible, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> what a time! What a life we're having. Yeah, literally. so. Um, there's, there's loads of other stadiums, you know. What about you go to like Mil British clubs? Millwall. Millwall. Go, go to Millwall was was always like the day because they they're ruthless. Yeah, <laughs> they're ruthless. Um, mm. you go to Leeds and these places. Yeah. So you know all of these. Um, How did you find playing I, at Ninian I, Park? I never though? really found them. Because obviously, I know, I know you played for Cardiff. Yeah. But could you see how intimidating Ninian Park could have been yeah, for yeah. other fans? One hundred percent. Yeah. If. If I was playing for somebody Lethal. else and I came to Ninian Park, I would be like, that question would be Ninian Park. <laughs> 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 okay, fair. fair. So, fair. so yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> if you could touch it briefly, I don't know, lowest point of your career? Lowest point? Whew, that's a deep question. I know. Mm. To try and make it brief. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, yeah, you know what I mean. Oh. It was, it was at any time like, <laughs> you could think like, you know, I was my most unhappiest maybe. Yeah, probably when I didn't score. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's okay. fair. All, that's fair. All forty-five minutes of it. Well, was... <laughs> <laughs> come on, <laughs> you, 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 you <laughs> tough me out. <laughs> <laughs> Luca, a, your laugh is just. There's jokes. <laughs> We're, we've got jokes for days around Come here. On. Oh, class. No, no. no yeah, I was like, John O'Shea. Yeah, I was, I was never happy when I didn't score. We, we lost games and things like this. But um, I think, in, in, in career wise, if you, if you look at it, then I think probably <laughs> in a half leaving Cardiff to go to, to, to West Brom was tough. Really? As, yeah, but at, at the same, weirdly enough, is half of you's. Uh, you know, quite Sorry. low and, and sad, but at the same time, you're the most excited. It's the dream, so isn't it? it's yeah. yeah. So that 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 was that was tough. You'd rather uh, be go with Cardiff in the prime, really. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, I also I loved West Brom because yeah. I, we got to do some really cool stuff. And, yeah, of and <laughs> have fun, stay mm. in. So no, of course. Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah. Okay, I got a couple of names here. If you could just describe them in one word or a sentence, what you think of these people? Um, first one, Gary Speed. Legend, uh, great human being, uh, wonderful inspiration. That's really nice. Craig Bellamy. Super professional, uh, great player. Love playing with him, love learning from him. Um, Love trying to calm him down a little bit on the pitch, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's he can Hot he head. can he can say what what's on his mind sometimes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but all all good things, yeah. Chris Coleman, uh, good guy, big personality, um, enjoyed working with him. Uh, yeah, Brian Robson, um, no problems with him. Um, it was okay, but um, could have been better. Ryan Giggs um, inspired me as a kid, uh, watching him play. The joy of playing with him, great player, one of the very, very best we've ever had in Wales, and um, was exceptional even when he gone into management to uh, give me time to come into the Wales squad and learn and. 
and study uh, what they do, how they work every day. So he's great with that too. Danny Gabadon? <laughs> One of my closest uh, footballing friends. Um, great player. Um, great guy. We spent hours and hours in the room together <laughs> um, talking about everything there is <laughs> yeah. from life to players to traveling um, to yeah, just a, a, a great guy uh, and natural in what he does, but um, also uh, doing excellently in, in media and in yeah. com commentating yeah. and uh, um, I'm happy for him. Nice. And finally, John O'Shea. No, I'm joking. No, I, I knew that was going to come. I, I knew that was coming. I just had a feeling. Uh, uh, no, yeah. it, it just made it. Right. Great defender. We, we, do, we do this with everyone. We just ask a couple of what you rather questions now, right? Um, so if you could keep one of these... One of these I memories. John O'Shea or... Nah. If you could keep one of these memories, uh, Leeds FA Cup or QPR promotion? Whew. Promotion, for sure. Lenny Lawrence or Brian Robson? Lenny Lawrence. Uh, uh, Welsh managers, uh, obviously you weren't under them, I don't think, but John Toshak or Chris Coleman? Uh, Chris Coleman. Ninian Park or Cardiff City Stadium? Ninian Park. <laughs> no brainer, no. Yeah. Mm. And these we ask everyone. So are you a mild or a spice? Spice. Are you a flat earth or a round earth? Round earth. <laughs> there's nothing else I don't know, you know. <laughs> you'd be surprised what people think no no including I, 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 me I know there's a, <laughs> I know there's a few there's a few out there Kyrie Irving no no tell me tell, oh, tell me why do you oh, oh don't no. <laughs> <laughs> Have I'm we got sad. another hour? No, no, we no, don't no, want no, to hear this. Listen, 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 hear this. listen I'm not going to go in, in on it. Like, oh, my God. Just look oh, into no. it. Just look <laughs> into it, dude. No, there's just too many. Listen, like, oh, it's just, I just it's too many videos don't believe on YouTube. Yeah. And there's, not, there's not one actual real live photo of Earth. Everything's composite. Even like uh, NASA admitted when the satellites, uh, the low Earth satellites do the... Um, the pictures, there's always a slight gap from each orbit, so they've had to like composite. So there's no actual natural photo of a photo from Earth. So how do we know? No, I think there is one. There is, there is. There's one the, picture. What, the, what, the famous from the moon. Map from no, the moon. no, Who no said, there's two, I think. This is my other one. <laughs> Who said we went to the moon? Oh, God. <laughs> End nah, of discussion. Right. No, moon or no it's moon. It's true, though. Like, you know, this, you know, listen, right? We don't know. They're just telling us something. Anyway, I'll save that for Pat. I three. like different perspectives. It's yeah, interesting. Yeah, 100%. I, I can go in for ages about yeah. it. But... Yeah. All right, then. If you could explore one of these, uh, would it be deep sea or deep space? Even though space is fake. Nah. <laughs> deep sea or deep space? Deep space. All day long. Reason? I've always had a curiosity for space. Always. Um, if yeah, It's just the unknown. But also... Mm. I'd love to go to space. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when get in, well, you can do that now, can't you? Yeah, Just I was going to say, uh, this, Robert yeah. Incher, are you going to pay for a ticket to space? <laughs> are you going to take I'm paying for it. Hey. <laughs> what about are the one-way uh, one trip to Mars? If you could go, if you could pay, if you could, like, go. That's a, that's a lot, huh? <laughs> with, I think it's about 250 grand, but if you could go, <laughs> would you go? Like, are We're you just gonna... talking about how oh, we spend this money wisely. I'd love to, yeah. I love, oh, I'm uh, so curious about space, so curious about the moon, so curious about like just what's yeah. out there. I'm so always being curious, you know, mm. ever since I was a little kid. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, for sure, I would love to go. We uh, have to, yeah. we have to see with That's our own I, eyes. I've got, um, I, uh, people like e uh, Elon Musk mm. inspire me. Mm. Yeah. He's a genius, this yeah. guy. He's on a different 100%. level. This guy is not even on a different level. Level doesn't capture cap no, This guy's yeah, 50 yeah. years he's ahead. Stunned. Who lives yeah. 50 years ahead? He's yeah. not 50 year old. He's crazy. That was really good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I reckon we get Robert down here one day just to do like a just jokes. A man, just jokes. Yeah, just jokes like. Do you reckon, Rob? You were for that? Oh my God. <laughs> that's the best. Dude. That's best. Uh, chess? Oh. No, I'm joking. I don't, know if that, <laughs> I don't know if that's genius or not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he is different gravy though, man. Right, uh, we got one more. Uh, one though. more year now. Um, we, um, <laughs> if you had uh, two superpowers, one to help humanity, one for yourself, what would they be? One for myself would be to fly. Yeah. 
I'm flying everywhere. He just wants to go Miami, <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> go <laughs> to Toronto. He's back to Toronto. He wants to go steak in Lincoln. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fly, fly for sure for me. Um, second superpower. I would love to be able to have a superpower that has the ability to heal people. Mm. Nice. I think, yeah, for me, that's that would be... That's amazing. You would yeah. be busy. I'd be busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I, I would love that. Yeah. That'd be so good. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, it's the only I'll fly there. I expect. <laughs> it is. Most people, <laughs> most people say... Health, you know, wealth, health, and just making and, yeah. sure everyone's okay. It's, it's mm. a no-brain in it, really. Mm. Um, it, it, listen, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, mm. Rob. Is there anything you'd like to look down the camera and tell the people of Wales and yeah. even you know anyone who's watching this, anything inspiring? <laughs> Last words uh, up, for yourself, Kenzie. Rob. What was the word? What's that? Oh, I Kaizen. 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 Yeah. Just be yeah. Kaizen. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, enjoy, be good people, do something nice and uh, have fun doing it. Yeah, wow. nice. Um, <laughs> Rob, Robert, in show, people. Yeah. Listen, Rob, can I shake your hand, mate? It's been well, a pleasure. Like you said, much, man. we'd like Amazing. to get you down you whenever so you want. Thank you so much. Maybe do a couple of watch-alongs on some football matches. Or yeah, definitely. <laughs> if, Wales, reactions. If, Wales go to the, if Wales get to the final of some film, you have to come down and watch it with us. Okay. We watch said that for Mark Drakeford and Andrew Biggie Morris, but we just didn't make didn't it, have, did we? We didn't even have, yeah. Didn't no, we didn't even get out the groups this time. But hey, listen, it's been a real pleasure. And I, I you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll get down again. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. Nice. Uh, Rob's trying to do his dice. Yeah, just to finish it, it off. Nice. Six. I want you to just zoom in. Stay central. Stay central. Go on. Can you zoom in? Give it a go. Give it a go. Come on, H. Get it on there. Get it on Get there. Get in there, H. <laughs> Stay central. The Central Club.